Yes! Get her to sickbay. Captain Solano and Ambassador Spock have just returned from Hotaru. Take a look at that. Radic, I need you on the bridge, now. I'm here. The Elidians are preparing to attack Hotari. Status report. The systems are now fully powered. All torpedo tubes open. They're preparing to fire. We should hail the Elidian flagship, Captain. Readying phasers if you want them. Stand by. Await my order. Recommendation, Commander. We need to act quickly. Hail the Elidians. Maybe we could talk some sense into them. Hail them. No response. Try it again. Still nothing. The Illidians. They've powered down their weapons. Odd. You sure about that, Mr. Ahmad? They're venting some kind of gas from their ship. Hold on. Now all of their systems have shut down. That's unexpected. Commander Ermot, scan them again. We have to be sure. No mistaking it. They're dead in the water. What's happening? There's an energy dampening field coming from Tau. Take us out of range. Aye, Captain. Captain, the flagship is hailing us. On screen. Zeldi to the Starship Resolute. Our main power cores are completely disabled. The more power we give, the more it takes. Running off batteries. Life support systems have failed. Unable <coughs> to ventilate contaminated atmosphere. Admiral, you are about to launch an attack on a defenseless planet. Kobliot, you sided with the Hotari in the negotiation, but that does not matter now. My crew is going to die. Please, I beg of you. You must render assistance. System failures are compounding around my ship. We'll help you. Yes, we will. Thank you. Admiral, excuse us while we devise a rescue plan. By my estimate, the crew only have 23 minutes before their atmospheric mix becomes lethal. While we may not be able to transport the Elidians directly, if we were to transport them from their ship to a nearby shuttlecraft, it should be possible to amplify the transporter signal there and reroute it to the Resolute. The Ambassador's plan is incomplete. An away team will have to beam aboard the Zeldi and set up pattern enhancers for a stable enough signal out of the dampening field. Thank you for identifying my deficiency, Commander Chovar. Jara, I need a senior officer in command of this. Take Chovak and Bedrosian in the shuttle and get it done. Petty officers Diaz and Edsilar, you will be part of the rescue mission, as will I. We will bring the shuttle within transporter range of the Zeldi, then beam you both aboard. Beam us on board? Why? The pattern enhancers must be placed on the Zeldi to make it possible to beam the Elidians back to the Resolute. Gather the pattern enhancers and get to the docking bay. going on the wrong mission. Oh, uh, what's that? We're going to rescue the Elidians, the people that oppressed the Hotari, when we should be going to rescue Miranda. This thing that's happened to Miranda is like the Trill symbiosis joining, only worse. And I've seen too many people I care about wiped away by some greater entity to stand by while the same thing happens to her. I wanted no part of it then, and I won't stand for it now. Your body's stolen and used like puppets. I'm not gonna get my hopes up just yet. We don't know if what's been done to her can be reversed. Don't give up on her so quickly. Right now, we've got other lives to save. Yeah. The away team is ready.
Resolute to Shuttlecraft Melville. You're cleared for takeoff. Acknowledged, Resolute. Melville taking off. Within range. Any closer will put the shuttlecraft at risk. Preparing to transport the away team. Energizing. life support. It's almost completely drained. And the other systems, too. Oh, no. We gotta get to their transporter room. It's not working. No power's running through any of this. We gotta get him open Stop. manually. I am the ranking officer here. State your intentions. We are under siege. Explain yourselves. I'm not big on conversation when a gun is pointed at me. Put it down. Then I would expect boarders on my ship to announce themselves as friends. Yeah. Whoa there. I am still able to stand. What are you trying to do? We gotta get into your transporter room. Then we can get your people off the ship. Make sure they're evenly spaced. We need to manually adjust beam trajectory so they connect. I got this one. You get the other. All right. The pattern enhancers are aligned and ready to go. Let's round them up. These will boost the signal so we can transport through the storm. We have a shuttle outside this ship that will route the signal to the Resolute. All crew to transporter room two. We are evacuating. We're alive. Here they come. Coordinates. Beam status. Energizing controls. Please step on the platform so we can evacuate you, Admiral. The crew goes first, Arminta. Sir. I mean this. You! Get on the platform already! The interference is too much. The system is suggesting better transport coordinates. Diaz, the shuttle. You're sitting right in the thick of it. I'm sending you specific coordinates for a clear signal path. Waypoint's been added to the navigational computer. There, Commander. Give or take 50 meters. Melville to away team. Energize. I have the first group of Elidians in the pattern buffer. Redirecting and transmitting to the Resolute now.
This is Resolute. We have the Olydian safely aboard. <laughs> we did it! I was so worried this wouldn't work. We got this. Good work. Keep it up. Yes, Commander. This is Commander Rydek. We're holding steady. Signal is good. Keep them coming. To those in my charge, sir. I must insist you go so you can lead our people. I will see to any stragglers. Yes, that may be for the best. But first, let me thank our human saviors. I'll pin medals on your uniforms when this is over. You're very welcome, Admiral. Does Starfleet let you wear another fleet's medal? We will find out. We're ready for transport. Get the Admiral to safety. Energize. Massive power surge! Sending available power to the annular confinement beam. I have the Illidians in the pattern buffer, but I cannot resolve their signal to send them through to the Resolute. Nor can I materialize them here. We need a better position with the Resolute. I am losing their patterns. I need more power, but internal relays are not functioning. I'll do it manually. Do it! I am trying. I will lose the transport if I do not have more time. The signal is resolving. Please! We have lost the 15 Olydians in the last transport. I regret to report that we have lost the last transport. My comrade. The Admiral. Unfortunately, our shuttle systems were damaged by the power surge. We can no longer serve as the transporter node. Carter, these readings are off the charts. The source of the storm is on this ship. That must have been the power surge when it came on board. You're right. The Takan energy source. If they call it the Cartabula, it's here. Intruders are preparing to bring the Zeldi to war. And we're about to be stuck on it. There is an old Olydian saying about leaping off the hot skeleton and falling to the flame below. Yeah, we got that one too. I hate to say this, but I don't think there's a rescue coming for us. That was our job, so we're gonna have to save ourselves. And with the Cartabula on board, we're gonna have a new job. Stop it. Stop them. I like this job. That's all well and good, but if we're not getting off this ship, we're really backed into a corner here. We can't get off this ship. But maybe I could target somewhere on, on the ship. ship. We are reading the warp engines powering up. Yeah, we picked up on that. We do not have a way to evacuate you from the Zeldi. The shuttlecraft is too heavily damaged. That's all right, Commander. We have a plan of our own. We're gonna stay on this ship. That is very... bold of you, Mr. Diaz. Live long... and prosper. Help us with this map. Find somewhere as remote as you can. They're almost here! There. The aft 
cargo bay. That is acceptable. Sounds good to me. Whatever you're doing, do it now! We're locked in. Four to transport. Transport. Energize. as I could. We saved many lives. And our people on the Zeldi knew the risks their duties entailed. Contact the Resolute, Mr. Chobak. Have them bring us back. Yes, Commander. Saved as many Illidian lives as you could. And more importantly, you looked after your crew. That's what counts. You have to look out for your own, first and foremost. In the heat of the moment, I just couldn't risk losing Lieutenant Bedrosian. I understand. Not an easy decision. We'd be lost without a tactical officer. Especially now. Unfortunately, the Admiral was among those who didn't make it. I'm sure it's a huge blow to the Illidians. I hope they don't blame us. We suffered our own losses as well. How are we getting our away team back? Ambassador Spock and the rest of the senior staff are waiting for us in the briefing room to discuss just that. I wanted a chance for you and I to speak first, given the circumstances. While protocol might suggest we alert Starfleet about our situation, Missing crew, the data breach, possible threat from the Hotari or Khan. I think we're better off keeping this to ourselves. Under our control. You know what's at stake for me here. And what is at stake for you, too. I can't afford another mission gone wrong. And I'm really counting on your support. I don't want to raise a false alarm just yet. But I have every confidence we can wrap this up before it gets any worse than it already is. As first officer, I support you. But protocol is protocol for a reason, and my responsibility and duty extends beyond this ship and beyond you as my captain. We have to inform Starfleet. The sooner the better. And we're just gonna have to agree to disagree. We're ready in the briefing room, Captain. On our way. Is there any update on our efforts to trace the Zeldi's warp signature? Unfortunately, no. Somehow they were able to mask the signature and block our ability to track their trajectory. 
I'm also concerned about what went with them. A Taconian energy source. Sidron referred to it as the Cartabula. Yes, I've been analyzing your tricorder scans. This Cartabula is more powerful than any energy source on record. It disabled our ability to warp and likely created the Ion Storm. Something that powerful in their hands? We have to find that ship. It could be anywhere by now. Literally anywhere. We should alert all stations to keep an eye out for that particular ship. You're saying we should warn the entire galaxy? I'm saying we do the math. Calculate their maximum speed against a given time interval. That gives us an expanding radius of where they might be at different periods of time. We alert the stations at each radius at regular intervals. It's casting a wide net, but it's at least worth a shot. A sound approach. The Takan also compromised our systems when Petty Officer Maris stole data from our computer core. We're assessing what was lost as we speak. It's just too soon to say exactly what they had access to. Starfleet needs to know about this. We're not contacting Starfleet until we fully understand the situation. There are too many unknowns. They stole our data. That's reason enough to warn Starfleet. But the captain does have a point. It might be better to wait until we know more. We shouldn't take any chances. We should at least alert Starfleet that our system was compromised. I agree with Commander Rydak. We should let Starfleet decide how they want to handle it. And essentially tell them this mission was a failure before it's even over? No. That's not how we're gonna do it. Not on my ship. I want to speak with the Hatari and get to the bottom of this before we get Starfleet involved. I expect we'll meet resistance. The Hotari think we violated our neutrality by entering their minds. Assuming the negotiations are off, we no longer have an official role here. We still have a responsibility to the Hotari. And the Elidians. The Takan are a threat to both their civilizations. No. They're a threat to us all. The device Commander Rydek found in the Taconian Vault is an advanced delivery mechanism for a complex biogenetic transformation process. Meaning what, exactly? Not only are they bioforming innocent hosts, transforming them into Takan, they're taking the DNA and engrammatic data of a specific Taconian and displacing that of its host. It's a hostile takeover on a cellular level, bringing individual Takan back to life one by one. Is there some way it could be reversed? That's exactly what I've been trying to find out. So far, it appears the answer is no. Once the Taconian takes control, the displacement of the host is irreversible. And the bioforming appears to be permanent. Petty Officer Maris called herself a scion of the flame, but the computer had no information about it. She also shot the hell out of my ship as she escaped and nearly killed a few of our crew. So we know this about those scions. They're dangerous. The Takan have crossed a line. That much is certain. However, meeting with the Hotari could offer insight into their true intentions. Under the pretense of an apology for betraying their trust and trespassing on their territory. Given the options, this might be our best chance to find out more about what they have planned. I couldn't agree more. Cartabula gun, I can confirm we have regained warp capability and the use of our transporters. Excellent. Commander Ermot, see if we can arrange a meeting on Hotari as soon as possible. As Ambassador Spock suggested, under the pretense of an apology. Aye, Captain. Nice work, everyone. You're long overdue for a Deridium infusion. It looks like I am. Aside from almost running out of Deridium, you're in good health. Nice to get some positive news for a change. You I don't worry about. A captain, however. Go on. You see it, don't you? He's desperate. Withholding intel from Starfleet just to save his reputation. That's not normal behavior for a captain. I was relieved you called him out on it. You've spent enough time with him now, seen enough of how he runs this ship. If there's something wrong, as the ship's doctor, I need to know. Don't sugarcoat it. 
You know I wouldn't. To be honest, I'm worried about him. It seems like the stress of this mission is getting to him. He has so much riding on its success. And I am concerned he'll do something rash to ensure it. To know we see eye to eye on this. And I want to be clear, I care about Solano. I really do. I've been his doctor for years. There are more important things at stake than offending an old friend. If it gets any worse, you know where to find me. Jara. Monitor your Duridium levels. I'll be right back. How's your wound? Like it was never there. I feel lucky you were there with me. Without you, I'd be, well... Thank you for saving my life. Even with the wonders of your technology, it wouldn't have mattered if you'd left me for dead. I should be thanking you. You took that disruptor shot for me. Without you, I might be the one in sickbay, or worse. Well, I couldn't just let you die. Not after all you did to help. I won't forget it. We saw the truth down in those mines. What Citron and Galvin really are. Who they've become. The lengths they're willing to go to. What they did to that Lydian. It's hard to accept. That everything I thought I knew, so much was a lie. What we learned down there will help us win this fight. Truth is power, and we'll use that to stop Galvin and Sidron. If you're right, then it was worth it. I truly hope you're right. Commander Rydek, you're needed on the bridge at once. What is it? The Hotari have agreed to meet. We have no idea when or if the Resolute is going to catch up. But if we can get access to the Zeldi systems, we might be able to figure out what the Takan are up to. You got somewhere we could do that? There? All right. Etzelar, let's do this. The internal sensors. The what? When they scan the ship for life signs, they'll know right where we are. There must be devices that perform the scan. Right there. And there. There's several of them around the room. Got it. We'll disable them. How? They're too high to reach, even for me. Not too high for our phasers. Low power, Millie. Let's not set off any fire alarms. I got the ones over here. Got one. Another down. Here it comes.
works. They won't be able to detect us. That buys us some time. Now that the Zeldi has its power again, I might be able to access some of the ship's systems from here. I'll take care not to give away our position. The Takan might not even know we're still on board this ship. Miranda only saw us transport away. She probably thinks we're back on the Resolute. Miranda. Don't give up on her yet, Carter. For all we know, she was trapped, watching it happen. Fighting it the whole time. The person who shot at us wasn't Miranda. Don't think for a second that she turned on us. Because I don't. Neither do I. I know it seems like we could never trust her again. But maybe there's a way to turn her back and Miranda could help us stop the Takan. Here, on the ship. Just because the Trill joining is permanent doesn't mean the Takan bioforming has to be. I've heard enough of your prattling on about your friend. You have to think like a soldier. She's our enemy now. She'll be dealt with like the rest of the Takan. My friend Miranda is not responsible for what she's doing. The Takan have taken control of her mind. We certainly can't kill her for it. Speak for yourself. If anyone threatens the Empire, they are the enemy. It's just one life, and it's already been lost. You don't get to talk about Miranda. You don't get to ignore the truth. We don't like this any more than you do. The Takan are a threat to all of us. They turned our crewmates too. Do you really think they're gonna stop there? All I know is that more of my people have been lost to the transformation than yours. Not to mention my admiral and the others who didn't survive your rescue attempt. Our losses are mounting. Yours are just beginning. We're stuck on this ship, same as you. I'm blocked out of helm control. Propulsion? And they're closing down systems faster than I can check them. Ah. Ah. They're always changing these interfaces. I can hardly keep up. Let us help. Fine. They're using a senior officer's access code to lock down our systems from the bridge. The Takan must have turned someone in command. Here's something. I can see the course they have plotted in. The Lydian fleet has explored a lot of systems, but it's all in the opposite direction of where we're going. The Zeldi, that's where we are. That's not exactly news. We're headed to the edge of the galaxy. Nothing but uninhabited systems along the way. And if we keep going, we'll leave charted space. A lot sooner than I like to think about, too. That can't happen. We need to take control and turn this ship around. Get back to the front lines of the battle for Olivia. We are on the front lines! They're going to do this all over the Quadrant. The whole Federation is at risk. That is a possibility, but it's already a reality for my people. I'm sure it's pretty damn real for the people who are trapped in their own bodies controlled by the Takan. You can't just turn your back on them. I'll take this ship without you if I have to. And I'll bring it back to Olivia, or I'll destroy it. Think strategically. We stand a better chance by working together. You're right to be angry. But it doesn't do any good to turn it on us. Fair enough. The most important thing is that we get control of this ship, so that we don't end up so far away that the Resolute can't ever catch up to us. And if we control the Zeldi, that also means they can't use that cartabula thing. I'm not sure we can do much more from here. What's this? It's a data stream. It looks to be a two-way communication. Let me see if I could put it through a demultiplexing processor. Can you get that clearer? trying. Okay. That should do it. Hello. Can you read me? Itasker, is that you? Major. It's my lieutenant. 
Where are you? I'm here with some of the others. We're trapped in the ATP. Our artillery targeting platform. The bulkheads are sealed, and ruptured power conduits on the other side are discharging at high voltage. Major, we've seen Sidron and the other Atari. And if we can get free, I think we'll be able to overpower them and take back the ship. Itasca, are you still there? Itasca, are you still there? You shouldn't trust anyone else you meet. The Hotari have been transforming people on the ship. We've seen it happen. Bioforming. It's only a matter of time before any remaining crew are turned against us. You have to come and help us. I gotta ask, are you sure that's really your comrade? It's Itasca. You're going to have to trust me. I know Lieutenant Itasca well. That's her. Clear and not under duress beyond our current circumstances. I'm sure of it. I can do that, Major. Then we don't have time to lose. We'll make it to you undetected and we'll free you from the ATP. We'll be ready and waiting, sir. I may not know the computers very well, but I know every inch of this ship. I can get us there, safely, through the back routes. Approach. Your Majesty, an apology is in order. The Federation... Spare us your apologies, your excuses, your pathetic explanations. You said you were here under the pretense of peace, yet you trespassed into our minds. I should have known you couldn't be trusted when you sided with the Illidians. Your intentions have been clear from the start. We knew you were hiding something. We had to find the truth. I hope you were satisfied with what you found. Your Majesty, if I may. Her actions nearly caused a war. I was addressing the Queen. Galvin speaks for the Votari now. Fortunately, we were able to resolve this ourselves despite your interference. The Illidians have agreed the mines will remain under Hotari control. We now recognize the Hotari as the sole authority in this region. Your presence here is no longer necessary. So you can consider the matter resolved? They never wanted the Federation involved. This was all just a ploy from the start. We never needed the Federation involved. But we're so thankful that you've come. That being said, the sooner you leave, the better. The hell we will! What about my crew trapped aboard that ship? Or what you did to my security team? The data you stole? I want to make one thing clear. No one is to leave Hotari space without Federation approval. No one. You think you have that power, when in fact you have none. You came here under the presumption you would be the ultimate authority. That you would show up and render judgment in this petty dispute over precious resources between lesser people. But instead, your arrogance and self-interest was your undoing. Blinding you to the real power at work here. Something far beyond your feeble imagination. Enough of this nonsense. You're not fooling anyone. We know you're Takan. Takan. A word I haven't heard in a very long time. At the height of our power, the Takan Empire spanned hundreds of thousands of light years, and trillions of Taconians. An empire that encompassed what is now considered Federation territory. What's yours? 
was once ours. So it feels only right that we reclaim what was lost. Everything you hold dear will be gone. The first of many painful losses to come. You won't get away with this. You'll be held accountable by the Federation. I already have gotten away with it. And the Federation has no authority here. Not anymore. You might be surprised how many want to be part of the most advanced civilization the galaxy has ever seen. We will not stop until we've reclaimed what is rightfully ours. Imagine what a queen, a starship captain, or even a Federation ambassador could accomplish if their power was wielded by a truly superior entity. In the face of such impossible odds against an adversary so clearly more advanced in every way, the only logical choice is to submit. Never. Seize them. Get us out of here, now! Rydic to Resolute. Beam us out. <laughs> <laughs> 